Hello beautiful souls, welcome to Aini Dimalao channel. If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and follow us for more videos like this. I told her how he pinned at her the deep below the bleeding tone with which I sang under slow, interpret my own. She listened with the floating blows with downcast eyes, the mother's grace, and she forgave me that I gazed fondly on her face. But when I told the dark real scorn that graced that bold and lovely night, and that he crossed the mountain woods not rested day nor night, and that not knowing what he did, he lived amid a murderer's band, and saved from outraged wars than did the lady of the land. And how she wept and collapsed his knees, and how she turned him in vain, and never strove to expire the scorn that grazed his brain. And that she nursed him in the grave, and how his mad nurse went away when on the yellow first leaves the dying man he lay. His dying words, but when he reads that tender strain of all the ditty, my flat rain voice and piercing heart disturbed her soul with pity. All impulses of soul and sense heart thrilled my guideless genuine, the music and the doleful tale, the rage and balmy year. And hopes and fears that kindle her an indistinguishable throng, and gentle wishes long subdued, subdued and cherished long. She wept with pity and delight, she blurs with love and virgin shame, and like the murmur of a dream, I hear her breathe my name. Her bosom heaved, she stepped aside, as conscious of my look she stepped, then suddenly, with timorous eyes, she fled to me and wept. She half enclosed me with her arms, as she pressed with me, a meek embrace, and bending back her head, looked up and gazed upon my face. Towards partly love and partly fear and partly towards a bashful heart that one might rather feel than see the swelling of her heart. I calm her fears and she was calm and told her love with urgent pride and so I won my junior, my bright and beauteous bride. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe.